Hello, good day. I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. Here, that's the double E Volvo EC 160E screw drive actuator with this hobby double E hobby radio. So let's see this screw driving all the system. How we disassemble and assemble to a three-section arm or hydraulic driven unit. So this one, all the hydraulic pump system, valve. Yeah, I see everything, the cylinder oil, oil hose, everything it is connected. So we just switch it over. Then we put another ST8 radio and receiver connect to it. We can operate in all the function as it is a hydraulic three section arm actuator. So now we keep the, it powered on for operation so we can unscrew it, turn it easier. So disconnect the rear side cover or top and the bottom four screws remove and also this one remove it pulling out this rear cover then shake and pulling it out remove the cover put it aside so battery keep connected we have to remove all the bottom screws so to remove the top cabin and the cover so under the plate have many screws so we turn it around then we can screw it out one by one. Put a protection by foam. So the screws turn around, you will be able to, able to see it. Take them out. So one, two. And here you can see also it's available now. So one, two, three. So here have two more screws and the other side also have turning a little bit more. Let's two screw here. Remove them at the front under the cabin. And also this one. Take it out. Then turning to this side. So here that's the rear driver. Then at the right side of upper part, here still have screws here. So remove it out, one here, take it out. So all the screw take out, then we can remove top cover. So all have eight screws from bottom take out. Now we can remove the top cover. First, that's the cabin. So it's connecting wires. Later, we will see one by one. That's for the cabin light. Still leave it here, and here the top cover. Turn around, lifting. Still, we have this bar. So it's bar. It is with the cover. Only have to shake a little bit to pull it out. It's removed. So all cover removed. Then here we can see all the plugs. So this one, that's for the light connection. You can make a mark. So cut the wires. We will see all the functions for the plug. Cut the bandage. We can clear out the holes, all these wires for power connection. This one is connecting for the LED light. That's rotation. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So we are changing all unit, switching it over. So this one, after remove, you can keep it a spare, yeah? These two drive motor wires running to front, this hole, running through, pulling out, and sit this on the chassis, align it. This slipper ring, two wires all pulling out, turning free, and here align with this two pin. Here, one secure position, align, sit tight, then can fit screw again. Let's secure the chassis with this four color and uh, spring, uh, sorry, and the four screw. Push it in to tighten it. One more at the right side, push in here, and one more here. Then tighten the screw. Align and tighten it. 
So secure the seating plate to the rotation motor. Pulling the wires to right side. Ro oil hose push to right side here, secure the rotation motor and gear. First screw. This one first align it. So screw should bind into the big rotation screw. Pushing a little bit rear side to engage the gears. Forward, not engage. Push into rear, engage. Turning a little bit. You can try it. Now it's engaged, then secure the screws. Now only put all the screw first. When tightening, pushing a little back backward. Not tight first, yeah. only first put into position. Now pulling, pushing the gearbox backward, pushing a little bit, then tight little the screw, tight a little. Pushing, turning a little, pushing to the backward, engage the gear, tight. So here, three wires, two for drive, one for rotation. This rotation one, plug into the right side board, this plug. Align it, push in, and plug in, in position. And this uh, yellow and black one, for one of the drive, push into the middle, connect into here. And this uh, red and the green one, one of the drive, push into the left side connection. Tight. That's for the light for cabin. This is for the light of the arm. So we were connecting this one also to here. This one take out. It's running in line, yeah. So only have we only connecting one red, one blue will be enough. So we cut in the middle. Make a line. Cut in the middle. Cut it. Use the plier, just cut it directly. Then turning around, yeah. Not like this. Like this one. So red and blue pushing to right. And this one for the arm, turning around. So this with the pin, yeah, this side turning up, connecting like this. So the cabin, one, two, three, four, secured by four screws. So this standing leg, this pillar, no use. Cut it, it's blocking in the way. Then we can secure it, pulling out the wires. Sit, let her secure the screw. So these wires, we will uh, arrange later now. We connect the radio receiver, connecting the plugs, and testing which one it is which function, yeah. So let's see, uh, now let's try. We don't understand nothing of it, we try. Then we will know. So for example, here at the right side, this plug with one red additional plug, this is for the pump, for sure. So pump, we set up for channel seven, for example. Plug into channel seven. This one from right side, this wire connect, coming from here, that's for rotation, that's for sure. So with rotation for channel four. So these two, one for left, one for right drive. These four are for servo, big arm, middle arm, small arm, and bucket. These four we will have to test one by one. So now, also this is for the light, we set up for channel seven, uh, channel nine, connect to channel nine control. This original one from screw channel 7, no use. So now we set up for channel 9. Now, uh, let's say go to radio, start, go to manual, go to RX set, let's bind it. So now connect the battery first, we have power switch. So later we will power on and binding. Go to binding setting, start, start binding. Now already pump plug connecting to channel 5. Pump channel five, so bind, start the power on, we will have the power and bind it. Keep pressing two seconds, bind successful. So now we already have the control of it. So pump already start because already started from radio, all channel already set it up. Later I will show you how the radio settings. So now what we do, channel four already connected. See if rotation working, yeah, rotation working. Now we test one by one. So all these four plugs, which one it is for bucket, which for big arm, you can test one by one. So pump is already mixed start. 
right side servo as a right rear side servo testing. Okay, that's the bucket. So this one for bucket, we can put a leg, put a tag on it, channel one, bucket, right side is bucket. Second one, test. That's middle arm. So middle arm, check what we setting up. Go to general menu, all the little channels. So SWC now I'm using for middle arm, so that's channel six. So second plug from right side servo, that's channel six for middle arm. Got it, and from right side number three, test it, also by channel one to test. That's big arm, big arm to channel two. So number four, no need test, yeah, that's a small arm to channel three. So original, the first one, that's channel one for bucket. So now we can operate the arm to see. Big arm rising, middle arm rising. Okay, mistake, that's front arm. Okay, this one, channel three, now it's a big arm. Channel two is middle arm. So channel two should plug into middle arm for channel six. It was not clear, yeah. So channel three is big arm, connect to channel two. Another one that should be front arm, switching back to channel three for front arm. Test to see. Big arm, okay. Front arm, good. Middle arm, okay. So later we only need to change it a little bit. For the arm, each arm, for the operation of direction need to reverse, yeah, to be correct. Now, front arm is not correct, we reverse it for channel three. So the oil tank, after you receive, no oil inside, yeah. So let's take out this screw and we fill up oil, otherwise no have oil to move it. First, we fill up hydraulic oil to the oil tank, a little bit more than half the oil tank. After fill the oil, we will use air vent plug. So check the oil level. It's a little bit more than half, it's okay. Good. Oil already fill up, so put this air vent plug I will put into the package. So when you first run it inside, have oil, little oil is remaining and mostly air. When you fill up hydraulic oil when running, air will be pushing out. We will have to release the air in the system. So have to put this air vent plug. Otherwise, too much pressure inside. Tight. Have O-ring there, so secure it. So only air coming from the top. Now testing again hydraulic. Big arm. Need to reverse, yeah. Big arm need to reverse. Front arm need to reverse. Middle arm. Middle arm better also reverse, all working now. Also light, channel nine. Okay, cabin light is on. Rotation. Cabin light. Uh, front arm is not on. So maybe this plug, we reverse it to be right with power. Okay, now it's on. So this one we can reverse the positive and negative. Light okay, rotation okay. So later we will need to test it for the driver. So. Now we still have two drivers not connected, so I set it up from general manual auxiliary channels. So VRC and VRD, that's for drive. So seven and eight, plug in to see if correct. We can plug, plug first seven to see if okay, with, if it's left side. Seven VRC, yeah, it's the right side, so need to plug into Another one to seven, and then that one to eight. We will have all control now. Good, seven, eight, seven left, eight right. So eight need to reverse. Now let's see, we will set up everything, reverse it. So go to return. Later we will see all settings. First we set up all the channel not correct, reverse it. So two big arm reverse, three small arm reverse, four it's okay, six middle arm reverse, 
and uh, eight, right track, reverse. So right track, forward, left forward, it's okay. Rotation, spinning, forward. Rotation, big arm, front arm, middle arm. Now all correct, all direction is correct. Forward, backward, rising, pull down. So we will connect the bucket. Let's remove the original bucket. Take out the screw. Also this one. It's the pin already coming out. Yeah. Okay. So now. Pushing out another pin, and after that, here screws should still here. One more screw at this side. Now pull back the pin, secure the two screws. Another one. Align, tighten the screw. Tight from this side. Now connecting this uh, front, uh, this bucket cylinder to this pin. First, remove the pin. Nice small screw. Push out the pin. We will need these two connections to connect here for the bucket. Also, remove this one. So this take out. Pushing out the pin. Take out completely, so we will connect this pin to this bucket quick connection manually. So now make the connection first, this one pushing in, and also same time pushing in for the small bucket cylinder in position. And then for this connection with here, original one pin, push in, align, push the pin in, and then secure this small screw, turning, align it, then lock it. Okay, so this one we still have to push out a little bit to align it. So now this to align, then align this pin, push in, then we lock from this side, yeah. Push all the way in, and lock the screw. Lock the screw. Okay, tight a little. Okay, then pack it. This one is pulling, unlock, lock it, ready. So now all functions have front arm, bucket, crack, middle arm, down, up, good. So all functions are good. Now we are arranging for the wires. Then we put back the cover, secure all the screws. Then we will see the ready settings. So now wires secured, also receiver all wires secured. All function tested good. Now we put back the cover and then secure all the screws for the cover cabin and the rear cover. Yeah. So now this is in position. You see the receiver one to nine. We only used nine channel. So if you want extra sound system, smoking system also still have 10 and 11 and 12 to use. Yeah, three channel more free to use. So this one coming together, all these three section arm hydraulic system one unit here. Yeah. And if you like, we can also supply radio and the receiver, also sound and the smoking system. So now this one, we first turn a little bit, align it, secure this one firstly. So for the bottom, all this rear cover and the front cabin, totally, that's eight screws, push in position, then we can Tighten the screws one by one. So put it on the edge of the table. Power still connected. You can rotation it. So to find the whole position and tighten the screw one by one. Cabin, align it. First, only screw in, no need very tight. Until all the screws are inside, then you can tighten it. It's two ready. Rotation for another one. Here I have two. Here I have three. One here. Okay. No, no need very tight because I have to align other screws also. Okay, not very tight. And the rotation again for others. Here, one more. So, 
two more left, turning a little bit more. Align and tight. One last one. Okay, all done. Now eight screws from bottom all secured. Put back, battery connected, power down. Then we secure rear side cover, push in. Secure top two screw and the bottom two screw. Okay, top two secured, also bottom two secured. Door open with your C, running the pump. To the end, it's around 3.1 MPa. So the pressure power is good enough. Let's drive it. Drive to C, left track, right track, forward, backward, spinning, to right, rotation. Rotation to right, big arm, put down, front arm, bucket, middle arm, do the digging, middle arm down a little bit, do the digging, see the power lifting itself. That's easy. And light. And now let's see the radio settings. So go to menu, go to TX set. So here, first, that's all the switch settings. Switch settings. So we switch on all 12 channels. So it's SWA on, SWB on. SWD, VRA, every, every switch is on, K1, K2, all on. And also, here, 12 is 12 channel, yeah, all maximum, all used, 12. Then, go back, we go to general menu for one to nine channel settings. So first, channel one to four is fixed. One, for bucket, two, for big arm, three, for front arm, four, for rotation, Okay, that's channel four rotation. Now we go to AUXCH. So f start from channel five. Channel five, that's the pump. So only mix control. No directly switching on the pump, no need. So, and now it's a four MPa, power is enough. And channel six, SWC, middle arm. Channel seven, VRC, left track. Channel eight, VRD, right track. Channel 9, SWD, light. And go to mix control, return, sliding down to mix. So big arm, middle arm, front arm, bucket. So four mix control for the pump. Mix one, two, three, four. Mix one, on, and that's CH1 to CH5. Master that's bucket, CH1. Slave channel 5 is the pump. So negative 100%. Reverse, it's, negative, it's positive 100%, so that's different. And go to mix 2, on, CH2, big arm to pump. Negative 100% and positive 100%. Mix 3, on, 3 to 5, front arm to pump. So same, negative 100% and 100%. 4, so here that's on. Six to five, that's middle arm, mix control the pump. So also negative 100% and positive 100%. So all four channels, it's the same settings. So now for the reverse, if rotation, left, right, all the arm, down, up, not the direction you like, you go to general menu, go to reverse, which channel you want to reverse it, you choose it, yeah, let's say, Channel one, now I choose channel one. Now it is up, down, reverse it, click. It's reversed. Reverse it back. That's for reversing. And for end point, so most importantly, the big arm, we can control the speed by how much you're pushing. Also front, bucket, you can 
the speed you can control by how much you're pushing. But for the middle arm, that's a three section switch. So if it is too fast, for example, it's moving too fast for channel six, you can reduce the end point, means reduce the valve how much it's opening, so to slow it down. And for channel four, that is rotation. Also, rotation now is a little bit fast. Also, I can reduce it to, re to re rotation it slowly because for real one, it's not rotationing so fast, yeah. That's 50%, maybe it's fast enough. Try. Yeah, that speed, that's good enough. And uh, for the driver, seven and eight, actually it's 100%, it's okay. So more power driving more faster and more power to climbing up, yeah. And let's see, for the channel six, I'm not sure, so which one, high or low? This one is going to up or down by high or low, you're not sure. So you can do like this. So high, it is 51% now. You're reducing it all the way. It's very low, so valve not be, maybe not open. Up is okay, bottom not going. So means 28 high position, that's for lowering the middle arm. So we increase it a little bit. 51 was too fast. Let's try 48. That's lowering, let's see. Okay, now it's a little bit slower, it's good to control. So rising it is uh, another side, so also too fast. Let's try 40%, rising it. Okay, that's speed, it's easier control. Not too fast, good. So that's how we set in the radio. Let's say if you want the big arm or front arm to be a little bit slower, also you can reduce the end point. That's all the operation. So if you also like the sound system and the smoking, you also can get from me. So all these hydraulic three section arm, one unit, and sound system, smoking system, one unit, radio and the receiver, you can all get from me and I can load in the radio file for you. So same like these settings. So after you receive, you directly replace it, the hydraulic system, you can start to play. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy it. See you.